Martin. Back to the part three. Or watch Martin. Like, oh, okay, come on, come on, money. If you saw us on YouTube, you saw very good version because got right reasons. Because you've a conversion to listen to things. You have a Patreon or something. So if you're pulling your super to open covers, you go check that. Mom, I hurt my weenus. I hope your volume was way up. And at the end of this part, we will talk about the movie and review it. No. No. Ain't going to review squat. Movie. Let's finish this movie, huh? Ain't going to review squat. Squat? Yep. No, 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 no. I was actually just wiping my eye. Uh-huh. No tears yet. Sure, buddy. Paris <laughs> Weird car wash. <laughs> <laughs> you ever had that happen? Changing the diaper? Uh, yeah, they. Yeah, uh, like only twice though. Yeah, me too. Not a kids. lot, but I had it happen. Let me say this: I think Monty Rotnam might have a future in direction. Maybe. 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 Hot take here: he could be good one day. Maybe. Yeah. Yep. No. Yep. But uh, other than that, it was shit, and I hated it. Yeah. I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> Gold? I loved it, it. Gold? Yeah, it's gold. I was debating on silver, but it is it's it's gold. I would no, I, I would give it gold. I, I I I would I wouldn't just enjoy it and like to watch it again. I would actively seek out watching it and watch it with other people. Yeah. Yeah. I, it's it's gold. It was very good. Very, very good. Uh definitely got you heavily invested in the couple. Every every second of the film. I was never looking at the clock. And then obviously the adorable oh. uh, Prakash Raj and um Oh yeah, of course. Uh, that that relationship was really beautiful. Leela Sampson played Bhav Bhavani. Oh, we saw her in Leo, apparently. Um, and yeah, I mean, Nithya Menon and Dulker are so believable together and such great chemistry. Uh, I love Nithya Menon. Me too. Like as an actress, and just like as a as an adorable person who's very lovable and relatable and quirky. And, yep, um, gives me. Different but similar vibes like Emma Stone in terms of what I love about her in terms of being like a like a very real kind of girl. Right. But also just a very good actress and yeah. kind of different um, in her not only her look but her um, the, the, how, who she is. I, I'd imagine because this is a very similar kind of character. As yes. she, I, I, th that other one, that other one. Even, was even even more kind of forward, I think. Um, as a, as a character, but they were similar in, in, in the style, so I imagine that's pretty close to her. Yeah. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know anything about her. I suspect. But I imagine she's a strong lady who, yeah. who, who uh, it relates to these characters. Hence well. hence the part about the comparison. Yeah, yeah, part of these Very cut similar. from the same cloth. Um, so, love to see her more. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I loved just... She's just when you look at her on screen, when she has a great screen presence in a different way that like you know Ashwarya, right? You know Ashwarya's just like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's some some ladies and some guys that you just are flabbergasted but at how they look on she screen. She is so unique and yeah. so um, you believe that she is this person who has these strong feelings Correct. about marriage and yeah. and um, um, but strong feelings about you know her own independence and and things like that. Um, I loved her. I did too. And I loved their relationship. Dolker, I thought they did a great job too. I did too. I thought Money Rotnam made a, wrote a great story, and I thought he had very good dialogue scenes. They were very believable. I felt like the relationship of uh, Prakash Raj and uh, Leela were was not only good, but 
vitally important to the story. In fact, that last shot, I didn't say anything when it happened, but it was a really nice shot when he shows them in the room and he's laying her down and they're, he's drying her hair. And then he pans over to a similar frame with them drying their hair. Mm-hmm. And it shows you the two in relationship. It was a, it was a great scene. Yeah, it's a, like, I could be like, I could be like grandpa or whatever when he calls her. Right. Um, which was is very very cute. It's just a, it's what's it about? It's, it's a really nice movie about love. It's a it's a beautiful, well put together movie. Um, Good recommendation. I, also, I thought that um, Mani did a lot of different stuff in this one that I I don't normally associate with Mani. Like but yes, I associate him as like basically India's and Steven Spielberg. Right. Always makes really good films. He's a pioneer, but normally I don't associate him often with quirky and different kind of cinematography kind of mm-hmm. filming. Normally, it's... No. Um, it would be like... It's not a, a bad thing. It's not a bad thing at all. But it's it's very... Um, it's like you don't expect to hear about a, a Spielberg rom-com coming out in 2025. Yeah. He could do it. Oh, yeah. But that's not what you expect. And, and also, I agree. It's shot differently. Very um, much. Very maybe, different shot Maybe choices. it was more up to his cinematographer uh, in PC... Shurum? Shurum? Yeah. Shurum? Um, maybe it's up to uh, was up. I don't know how often they've worked together. Maybe it was more his choice, but it, it felt like there was a lot of. Maybe it was just going with the quirky vibe of the of the feel of the movie of their relationship with a great accompanying score. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what a shock! <laughs> it seems like he does everything. Like every movie is composed by air. <laughs> and I was thinking about it while we were while we were watching, and I was appreciating the score. How both he and Prabhu kind of looked at me oddly when I asked them about yeah. creative block. Yeah. It just, just... They don't compute. The greats don't... No, compute. it's like Steph Curry always having great games. It's like the greats just always do it. Uh, why would I have creative... That's who I am. Right. Yeah. yeah, it's like not write a song. It's like asking me if I don't blink. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> it, it's incredible. <laughs> that's what makes them so kind of yeah. Unique, the the great. And not that like if you if you have created block, you're not no, great. That's more common than no, no than not, yes. folks. But that's why they're it's... they're unicorns. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the the Prabhus and the Aramans, they're the they're the artistic unicorns of the world. Yeah, like it's... Michael Jackson was. They're just they do stuff that is very very rare. That's very rare. Um, and I know we've seen more than two, but this one and that the Noosh one are two of my favorite rom coms we've seen. In terms of modern rom coms, because like I don't, even though they kind of are, I don't include like the Shah Rukh Khan DDLJs in that same category. No, those, like, I agree. Those are, like big, big right romance films. The, yeah, those are those are ro- yeah. That's the best way to describe yeah. it. Those aren't rom coms; they're romance films. But like this one and the Danush one, yeah, both that have her in. I want to see everything. She and does. like we've said this over and over again, Hollywood ain't touching it because Hollywood's not making them anymore. I don't know why. They're yeah. beautiful. Beautiful. I mean, and this wasn't really. You're right. This wasn't rom com. This was rom drama. Rom drama. Yeah. Yeah, it's some com, but I wouldn't classify it as rom com. Not at all. Um, granted, I don't know how often rom coms are laugh out loud funny. Right, they're not, and they always do have drama. Always. So I did might qualify. Yeah. So I don't. I did. Mean, there's funny parts, but I don't. I don't think I laugh out loud at when Harry met Sally. But that's a rom com. That's like the, the only. One. There's only a couple times I laugh out loud in that or Sleepless in Seattle. Yeah, but they're considered there's some rom-com. funny moments. Yeah. I wonder why we call it rom-com. I don't know. Because they're not straight dramas, and they have cuteness in them. And they have stuff that makes you feel good, and they have stuff that makes you giggle. Yeah. yeah they're not... I think this would be considered a rom-com. Maybe. Uh, Either way, it was, a, it was a really enjoyable watch. Um, and, um... Something else I wanted to say. Oh, yeah. Uh, where would you put this in your Monty Rottenham, um... Wow, it's so different. Yeah, it is, right? Right? It um, doesn't really fit, which I like, the lexicon of stuff we've seen. It's so different. 19. I mean, so much of what he makes are, are these, just these, like, epic dramas, right? Yeah, I'm trying to see if I recognize any of um, her other, her other her, stuff. Her other work uh, by name. I, it's often, I, I can't. She, she little, was just a playback singer and rock star. I think I heard a lot about 24. I don't know. Uh, she was a, oh, she's a singer, huh? Mm-hmm. Really? 
multi talented woman. Yeah, apparently so. S O Sithriusca. Yeah. Yep, that one. I've heard about that one. Yeah, give us for those of you who know. Did more she do a lot of rom coms? Oh, she wasn't that, wasn't she? How did we forget that? Because uh, we didn't like that movie as much as everybody I else. Guess, I guess that's probably why. Yeah. Um. But Ustad but, Hotel, I have heard a lot about. Yeah, tell us, tell us what are some of the top three that you, you, those of you who know her, her films. How often has she worked with Dolker? Right. Because, wait, doing Ishk. Common title. Yeah. Yeah. Different Ishk. I just saw something from. She looks like she almost does a lot of rom coms. Is she like a rom com? Uh... Why wouldn't you hire her? Yeah. Right? I don't know if there's anybody it's one else of those, I'd, nah. I'd rather have in a rom-com. Yeah, it's one of those, if you need somebody in a rom-com, why wouldn't you want her to be top of the list? She's just lovable. Yeah. Uh, ooh, VG said about the uh, oh. project upcoming uh, in development there. Um, Prakash Raj, you got another Danush thing in the mix here. That's awesome. exciting. Um, well, if you're listening, we'd love to talk to you. Yeah, we'd love to talk to you. Um, yeah, I, I, don't, your work. Like, I don't know if there's anybody else I'd rather see in a rom-com right now than her. I mean, you know my love for Roddy Gopte. And so, like, if this was a Hindi film, I would easily put Radhika in this role. Like, right? If sure. You, if you had to recast a Hindi actor uh, and you couldn't recast the originals, because I would. <laughs> I would just be like, well, just put them, just do it in Hindi, yeah. uh, because they're amazing. But if you had to, Radhika would be the... She'd be great. So would Creedy. Um, yeah, Creedy. It had to be something with that quirky kind of feel to them. Yeah. Get that out. Get that out! Uh, which is probably my favorite quality quirk, in a woman. Quirk, but that's the thing. It says Radhika has the has or and Kalki does it too. They've got quirkiness and adorability, but they've also got strength. Yes, you have they, to. You be, have to have strength. You got to be quirky, but you got to be able to convey. Yeah, you cannot be a wilting flower for this role at all. Different because even though I think she she might be able to, but I don't think as well as these women. But like Zoe Deschanel. She gives off more of quirky, quirky, but not as she doesn't give off as a I'm a strong, independent yeah, woman. No. Often, even though she has, I think, 500 Days of Summer was that her. She does do it there uh, a little more, but these women give off both quirky and Correct. strong. Correct in the same as does Parvati. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like you never question like they're gonna no. they're not gonna let somebody tell them what to do. They're not gonna. Um, and I like that they uh, kind of. It looks like they did the long distance. Obviously, they did. Yeah, married. that's what they animated was at the end, and they all end up, um, you know, married with kids and happily ever after. Would I love? You get peed on. Yeah. Um, you know, f funny enough, uh, well, before you have kids, you think that's going to happen way more, way, way more than it ever uh, does. And it does. It did, like I said, it might have happened twice. And I have two boys, and it's only happened with once with each of the boys. And it's right when you're changing them, they yeah. start to, and then you cover it right up with. Uh, um, Maybe it happens more. But it doesn't people. happen as much as... You'd think. You'd think. Maybe with certain yeah. kids, maybe. Who knows? Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's easily one of my favorite rom-coms we've seen in India. Yeah, me too. I really, really enjoyed it. This and that's so, the, the Danush one. I think I think Alexis and Ashley would love this movie. Um, I want to know... I don't know why you wouldn't enjoy this movie. I just don't know yeah. what about it. That you couldn't enjoy. You couldn't enjoy. It's just very well done. Everybody's believable. When I love, one thing I love about it is because I have this preconceived notion of Mani Ratnam as the Steven Spielberg, Bombay's, the, the those old. That's one of the great jokes, things about this, right? Yeah. And then you have stuff like PS One and Two, which I'm like, yeah, that still seems that's like Mani like Ratnam, even though it's really big and it's different. It still feels like Mani Ratnam. This was like, oh, that's that's what I the, didn't know. That he had, I mean, I, yeah, I'm not saying I doubt he could do it, Correct. but it's like, I had not seen it really. But that is, that's one of the secret gems about this is, it, I think anybody, you don't have to know Monty Rotten, you'll still like the film. But if you've been exposed to several of his films, I think it adds this level of appreciation where you, you recognize, wow, a completely new facet in this gem of being able to direct something in a way we've never seen before. It's Great, yeah, and I mean, he might have many others. Right, who knows? I we're still man, oh, okay. The, the the main three, the trilogy of the terrorist ones. I think we saw one other really old one. S I want to say maybe seven. Have we seen seven? Money that sounds about right. Oh no, I'm forgetting PS one and two. Yeah, it, it might be higher. It's 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 not. It's ten or ten or less. Ten or less. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure he has. Uh, a hundred? Oh. Oh, probably. 
at least. Let's see. Credits and profession. 29? What? No way. Shut up. Oh, yeah. Thug Life is still coming out this year. That's the... Uh, He's the... only directed 29 films. Okay, so PS1 and 2, if you're counting that as two films. Uh, this one. This one that we just saw. It wasn't far. Like, no, not too far removed. Um, Guru. Uh, um, that Guru is number four. I've seen this with Steph. Okay. Um, you should Steph's, watch that one. Yeah. Okay, so that's five for me. Uh, Dilse. We Dilse. Saw six. Irivar. Seven. Bombay. Eight. Raja. Nine. Oh, that's Thadapathy. That Thadapathy is ten. ten. Nine again. <laughs> Eleven. Okay, Palavi so, Una Palavi. Didn't we see no, that? No, 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 no. We didn't see that as a, as a no, classic? No, no, no. no. Uh, okay. We have not seen that. All right. Uh, unless I'm missing one, you guys... Uh, so it's either 10 or 11. Yeah. Um, there's one you have... The only reason I watched this with Steph is because it's the um, um, real adaption of the animated... Um, Got it. I remember. Uh, uh, mythological mythological thing. thing. Yep. That's why I watched it with Seth, because I, I watched remember. the animated film with her, and that's uh, that's why. Yeah. It's good. You could watch it. Uh, this is better, though, um, than that one. Um, but where? How would, you, how would you... What would be your number one? And it'd be hard to rank them all, obviously. I mean, it still might be Bombay, just because I think that film is absolutely incredible. It's still Bombay. Um, this would be high up there. PS1 and 2 would be very high up there. Yeah, and I like... I mean, as much as I like PS1, I think you, we both said we like PS2 even more. What would be your last one, though? Dilse? Dilse. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't like Dilse at all. Um, Irva, that's a great one, too. Thought of was a great one. Yeah. Nyack, oh, great one. Yep. <laughs> he, <laughs> Good stuff. He really doesn't have a lot of... Uh, 29 seems really low for Really low. Home. I I, I would have been shocked if it was at 50. I thought we were going to see 75 to 100. Really did. So we're a, th a third through his filmography. Yeah, we are. We're a third through his filmography. That's crazy. Yeah. How much of his filmography would you say is worth seeing? Is it all of them? All 30, basically? Realistically. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. You, you guys have, like, cause you might... Um, I've seen some of the stuff and he's like, no, don't watch that at all. Uh, but I assume it's at least over 70% is worth watching at minimum. Yeah. He seems like a director that has a very high floor. And so, he also seems like a director, which is a, a testament to the amount of films that he's done, is that when he does a film, he takes his time. When he's going to do a project, he wants to make sure he does it right. When is uh, Goat Life coming? Uh, not Goat Life. Thug Life. Thug Life. Is it this year? Yeah, it says 2024. Mani Ratnam Kamal is written by him. December, it says. Uh, yeah. Rama. Uh, that's another question we need to ask him. Next time we get to talk to him. Why do you love... I mean, outside of the obvious. Yeah. What is it that, like, he... Is it just he asks, you say yes? I'm sure. Is, is that it? I'm sure. Um, it's, it, it, it's that way. I mean... I'm sure you know that experientially. There's people I've worked with Ooh, on really my small scale who, if they called me up and said, I'm doing this and I'd like you to be involved, I would say yes on that phone conversation. Yeah. W without hesitation. Because I trust them yeah. and I would love to work with them again. Look at this cast. Kamal San, Trisha, uh, who's a 96 yeah. girl. We've seen her in Ali few Faisal, Ali Faisal. This Joju guy, George. You'll recognize I him. do. Yep. Selimbarasan Rajinder. Uh, uh, Joju George. Ashwarya Lakshmi. Yep. Uh, that's going to be good. We get a Monty Rockman film this year. And the, the, What have we seen of this other than the original title reveal that we love so much? That it was reversed? In like January, yeah, right? Yeah, nothing. I know. Nothing. And we love that. But it doesn't come out until December, so. All right. And that's if it doesn't get pushed. Right. Uh, it, who knows? It very well might be pushed. Which, that's another reason for pushes. I saw a film recently. I don't remember which one it was. But they specifically um, chose to push the date because they saw that Somebody was dropping a film, and a somebody like a Mohandala Mahmoodi or a mm -hmm. uh, you know, and it was a big one. Yes, it was a it was a superstar, and they they did not want to disrespect the superstar by releasing on their weekend. Yeah, yeah. 
Makes sense. Anyways, uh, fantastic. I uh, hope you enjoyed the watch along yeah. as well as we did. Uh, if you saw us on YouTube, you saw a very cut-up version because of copyright reasons. If you like see full uncut version of this and other Tamil films, uh, you can have to pay for or channel membership. I love you. I'll put the link in the description below. Pinned comments, you go check that out. Uh, let us know what the next Tamil watch along should be. Oh, uh, Tamil. Mani Ratnam. Dolkur Salman and uh, the lovely and talented uh, 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 by always we need, we need to know her name. I mispronounce it because there's nobody else with a name okay. like it that we see all the time. Uh, Nithya, uh, yeah, Nithya, Nithya, Nithya. Any relation to KK? Probably not. Probably. Not. Uh, let us know what the next Donald watch along should be down in the comments below. Upload it so we can uh, see that and uh, anything else we need to know. Donald watch along.